The 2024 Gas Gas MC 250F is more updated than you think. This bike is all new for 2024. Let's talk about it in this video. Retailing for $9,399, the Gas Gas MC 250F is red, and it's also got a long list of differences from the KTM and Husqvarna brothers, including the Maxxis tires, the brakes, the clutch, triple clamps, bodywork, fuel tank, and more. We're gonna talk about all the details in this video. So now it's time to suit up and hit the track. <laughs> As most people know, KTM and Husqvarna were all new last year in 2023, while Gas Gas stayed behind for a season, continued producing the old platform with the old frame, the old 250F engine. Now for 2024, this Gas Gas is all new and it's jumping up to the same platform that KTM and Husqvarna have had for a year now. We first saw this platform with Gas Gas on the 2023 and a half factory editions. And that's what my brother, Michael Mosman, raced in Supercross this year. Also Pierce Brown, Supercross and Outdoors on that bike. But the big topic was a lot of guys who didn't like the new generation KTM and Husqvarna's, they jumped on Gas Gas's because they stayed with the old platform. Now that is no longer true. Gas Gas is all new, but there's a lot of little differences on this bike that I want to describe that separate it just slightly from KTM and Husqvarna. Diving into the differences from the top down, first we got to talk about the bar pad. Thankfully they gave us a real bar pad last year, it was tiny. They also made taller handlebars. These are neck and handlebars. They're still silver like they were last year, but now they're a little bit taller than the KTM bars. Also, the biggest differences on this bike, Brake Tech brakes and also a Brake Tech hydraulic clutch. KTM and Brembo, they acquired and bought Brake Tech back a couple years ago now when they needed more brakes to be put on some gas gas models. Originally they were only supposed to come on select enduro bikes, but then they accidentally made their way onto a few motocross models because they needed more brakes to, to finish out the production facility during COVID. Brake tech, horrible last year, horrible. We hated these brakes. For 2024, they did make updates and now all of the gas gas, motocross, off-road, enduro, they're all coming with brake, brake tech brakes. Like I mentioned, the clutch, also brake tech, and that's different from Brembo, which comes stock on KTM and Husqvarna. <laughs> Other changes, no map switch. That is consistent though with Gas Gas for the last few years. They've tried to make this bike the more affordable platform and because of that, they leave the map switch off. So this bike is stuck in map one. You don't have access to the green map. It is plugged into the ECU though. So if you you spend a hundred bucks at your KTM Husqvarna or Gas Gas dealership, you buy a map switch, you will have access to traction control, map one and map two and quick shift. Other differences, and this is a really big structural difference, the forged aluminum triple clamp come stock on gas gas these are all new to match the new platform and, and not match the new chassis for 2024 offer more flex at the front end and a little more of a forgiving feel on the front while the CNC machine clamps they come stock on KTM and Husqvarna a little more precise also new for 2024 hour meter comes on this bike double thumbs up from MXA because we put a lot of time on bikes <laughs> More differences, obviously bodywork, this thing is exotic looking and completely different from the other models. The fuel tank is actually slightly bigger to work with the Gas Gas platform. Also, to get into the airbox, it's pretty easy to pop off, a little more difficult to put it back on. Obviously, super easy access. Twin air filter still comes stock on this model. Best part about KTM, Husqvarna, Gas Gas, it makes it so much easier to change your air filter when all you gotta do, pop it off. You got quick little rivet holes to drop it back in. And uh, just like that, it's super easy to change your filter, makes it uh, nicer for bike maintenance. Putting it back on, a little more challenging. You gotta get these two holes up here to match. Also, this lip right here pops out often. It's easy to catch your foot on it and pop it out and have it hanging off to the side. Sticking it back on, you got a couple different rivet holes here to uh, press into, and let's see if I can get this on video. It's always harder on video. Oh, see we're out up there. And then you just gotta whack it a couple times. 
I think we're good. The gas gas comes with Maxxis MXST tires. MXST, not as durable as the new MXSI soft intermediate and also the new MXIH intermediate hard tires that we've recently tested, but these are still solid tires. However, if you're gonna ride for a long time, expect to see some knobbies flying off. Be quick to get new tires at the dealership. Also down here, we got the Brake Tech brake caliper and also different brake rotors. These brake rotors have a little more holes in them to help keep the brakes a little bit cooler. 49, 50, 51, 52. Another difference, this bike comes with a 52 tooth rear sprocket up one tooth from the Husqvarna and KTM. More differences about this bike, closed off air box cover. Now there is some air able to get through here. It's not completely closed off like Husqvarna is, but it's far less air than the KTM. KTM has two grab handles up here, lots more air flowing into the air box cover, more air going into the engine, opens it up and allows it to have a more snap coming out of the corners and more pop. Uh, on the dyno, actually, it doesn't make a huge difference. Husqvarna and KTM have always been very similar on the dyno, sometimes Husky even faster, but on the track, more throttle response with KTM. Gas gas is more closed off here. Also, because you're stuck in map one, you don't have access to all the horsepower, as I already mentioned. Last year, our KTM 250 SXF engine was the only 250F in the class hitting 45 horsepower on the dyno, but that was in map two. Also taking a look at Trolley Designs and their factory 250s, they drill holes in the air box here to get more air in there. Yes, your air filter will get dirtier, but you'll have a little more snap coming out of the corners. And the last update I have for you guys, softer suspension settings on the gas gas platform that's consistent to what they've done in the past the spring rate is still the same for two shock springs same as what comes on ktm and husqvarna for the shock on the 250f only for two comes on the 350 and 450s also inside the forks wp exact air forks so the spring rate is set by how much air pressure you put in but softer valving in these more tailored to novice and vet riders I mentioned all the changes about this bike, but how does it actually feel on the track? Yes, the engine is the same, the frame is the same, suspension, similar. Husqvarna has the lowered concept. Gas Gas is the same height as KTM, and the, the valving is much softer on this bike, making for a plusher and easier ride on the hard pack slick tracks. However, not as much holdup as KTM or Husqvarna when the track gets rough and the jumps are bigger. So the Gas Gas MC250F is the more affordable option from the Pierre Mobility Group compared to its KTM and Husqvarna brothers, but you do lose out on some horsepower because of that. You are stuck in map one, as I already mentioned. Additionally, the clutch is a big, big difference. Like I mentioned, the internals are still there, so this bike will still have a very durable clutch, but the actuation and the feel of the lever, completely different on this bike. We had a lot of different test riders. I believe we had five different test riders ride this bike back to back with the new 24. Husqvarna FC250 today, which has Brembo clutch. They could all feel a difference. Some guys, it was a big deal. For some guys, it wasn't as big of a deal. But long story short, we do like the engagement of the hydraulic clutch. We also compared it to the Honda, which has a cable clutch on the CRF250. We still prefer the hydraulic on this bike much more than the cable on the Honda, but the feel isn't as precise on the brake tech clutch as it is on Husqvarna. Husqvarna, you know exactly where your clutch is. It's easy to feather it coming out of corners and it's ultra strong and consistent. Wasn't as strong with brake tech and we got a little more of a surge feel coming out of corners whenever you're feathering the clutch. The next big question is why did Gas Gas jump up to the all new platform? It's no secret that KTM and Husqvarna have struggled since they put this new frame on their bikes, especially in AMA Supercross and Motocross. Cooper Webb, one rider who's been very vocal about it, now he's riding for the Yamaha team. A lot of riders, like I already mentioned, got off their KTMs and bought Gas Gas bikes to race Supercross and Motocross this past two seasons. 
because they have so many parts already built up for the gas gas platform, the older KTM platform, and that bike is just tried and true. It's proven, engine builders know it inside and out, and it was just much easier to go race Supercross on a gas gas because they already knew the brand and the frame much easier to break in, much softer and more compliant on the track. We asked KTM while we were touring the KTM factory in Austria a couple months ago. You guys can check out that video on our YouTube channel. We asked them the hard hitting questions. Why didn't you just leave gas gas on the old platform, made it more of a different bike from the KTM and Husqvarna, continue to evolve and develop those while producing gas gas on last generation bike. It's a, still a great bike, still very competitive, still better than the rest of the bikes in the class, but they said they can't do it. It would be more expensive for them to continue to produce last year's bike because all of their tooling, all of their parts, all of their inventory is all focused on the new generation. So when you look at the engine, all the parts that go into making an engine, all the tooling that goes into casting the engine, the frames, swing arm, subframes, everything about this bike is new for 23 on KTM and Husqvarna, now 24 on Gas Gas, and they have to keep shifting to the new platform and try to keep this at a more affordable price. It's a thousand dollars cheaper than the KTM, still considered one of the high priced bikes when you compare it to Honda, Yamaha, and Kawasaki. That's the reason why it's because of the cost. It wouldn't make sense for KTM to continue producing gas gas as, as the old chassis, as much as it would still sell, as much as guys like me, I'm a test rider. I wanna ride different bikes. I don't wanna ride three different types of, Husk, of KTM in different colors, but that's how it is. And luckily they do change triple clamps. They do change the brakes and the clutch and make it a little bit different for us to test and talk about in these videos. Lastly, I'll touch on my personal experience for today. I weigh 175 pounds, so I'm a little bit heavy for the suspension, but man, I had a blast on this Gas Gas MC250F, and you could tell probably by the video, I was feeling comfortable on it here today at Glen Helen Raceway. This suspension, softer. I did mention that already. It doesn't have the holdup that KTM and Husqvarna have. Now, if I was racing today, I would choose the KTM suspension for the holdup that it has, but the track wasn't so rough today. We didn't have a ton of traction coming into corners, so I was wasn't super hard on the brakes, which meant that I was okay with the softer suspension and I was okay with making do with the 4.2 shock spring and also running 10.5 air in the forks. Yes, it is a little bit low. Yes, it is a little bit softer for my weight and speed, but honestly, I felt comfortable with it today and I appreciated it on the track. A reminder for you guys who don't normally run air forks, you need to set your pressure in the morning and you need to check it throughout the day as the bike heats up. Just like your tire pressure goes up throughout the day as it gets warmer, your forks will do the same. 10.5 uh, bar, that's what's recommended stock on these gas gas forks. And honestly, it was a great spot for me today. All right, guys, thank you for watching our 2024 gas gas MC 250 tested video. We are very busy testing 254 strokes right now. We got the all new Yamaha YZ250F. Check out that video on our YouTube channel and on our website. Stay tuned, motocrossactionmag.com. Follow us on Instagram at motocrossactionmag. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.